Are we going backwards in time? Yeah. I thought we were going to the future. No, we're going backwards in time to find relics of the future. So, beginning of the week, got up this morning, did our research, got the map to Saskatchewan, and we wanted to find another one of the home sites, so we took ourselves a little hike. Long hike. Yeah. It was a pretty good walk in there, obviously, as you've seen before with these past home sites, the roads are non-existent, um, but we looked for the signs. Big signs. There was one tree that just stood out and we followed it, hit a wall, he skedaddled off a bit and got ourselves the home hey. site. Sit back, watch this, see what we found and happy Halloween. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, a little tree fell over and it's hiding all these bricks in its roots. Signs. Yeah. Maybe that's a knife. Yeah, it was about eight inches down. Rang up so pretty. Oh, nice. Well, we're on to something. Oh, we're finding yeah. Finding things. Yeah. I'm finding the ground to be fairly quiet, though. Yeah. There we go, first find. I got a button. Button? Of course I did. I Anybody who bet a buck that I was gonna find a button for my first target, well, you won. That's cool. It's an interesting size. Yeah, let me see. Here. A beautiful little copper hinge. Oh, yeah. And it still hinges, look at that. Wow. Definitely, uh, like a little box or something? A little box, maybe a, a little cupboard in the kitchen, maybe. Wow, that was small. Just a little itty bitty cuff button broken. Oh, for your butt. Right here, about four inches down, trigger guard. Yeah, no kidding. Dig your iron. Yeah. Look at that, huh? Put Trigger. my finger in there. Wow. Maybe that way. Wow. Yeah. Then, uh, no more than three feet from where you dug that cuff link. Right, mine was right there. Yeah, mine's right there. The match. With shank. Deep? Very. <laughs> and, Small. Yeah, and took uh, forever to find it. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. That's where I dug my little cuff button. I yeah. saved the tree by do it in the plug but I just came back through scanning and way down in there yeah. another little button crazy huh yeah it doesn't look like a cuff button though. about seven inches down rang up really hardy but it's uh Oh, Shankless okay. button. It's got some gold on the back there, eh? Kind of shiny. Huh. So what'd you think of that? Wow. A lot of buttons, yeah. relics, not a coin to be found. Very quiet. The ground was very, very quiet. And not that it was the least of our finds. Um, we Believe me, we've spent a day an entire at a place and literally come out of there with
just that. Yeah, yeah. So like I said, as we're documenting and finding relics for areas, one button makes it worth a trip. So to come out of there with a few makes it worth it. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna fast forward to what he likes as future finds. Future finds. Yeah. You ready for tomorrow? <laughs> Next day. Just like that. Bam! We get here quick. Yep. The map. The map. The map. In search for other holes, we found one more. One more and an odd spot. Very odd. So, with no further delay, check out what we did at this first hole. And then we'll show you the dumb luck finds. The odd indeed. On the well, mm. it's open, and it looks like there's no animals in it this time. All right, Keebler got a catch on the other side of the wall here. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was uh, rang up a 77 on the day I saw on a AT Pro. That would have been a 67, which is kind of weird. But uh, upon viewing where it sat, it's big dandy, straight up and down. Right here, see it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Extract. <laughs> you need light in there? You got oh, it. I got it. Good. You got it? All right. <sighs> complete. Complete. Very Ooh, good. Almost not complete. Look how worn that is. This guy wore that a Ooh, long time. That is a beautiful shank. Yeah. <laughs> Why, thank you. I'm sure there's design, but we're going to have to wait till it uh, dries out some. Hunter's uh, Dime, 1975, out here in the middle of nowhere. That's a very fancy suspender latch. I really like these things. We're on the same property, but we've moved on to what we refer to as a square. Uh, this rock-walled area, see how flat it is? This has definitely been cultivated a long time ago. So it was a field. And, um, and look at the size of that tree. That's how long it's been since this has been field. Wow. Stopped here waiting for you while you're probing. Yeah. And I literally was standing here with my machine. Yeah. the chances of that well it's been farmed that's a 10 foot wide small rock wall, I know but it's stone wall it's that dumb luck I go to stand someplace yeah could be a clad because Look at that Merc. Unbelievable. What, what year? Can I don't know. That 197. No. Be a 16. 1916D. <laughs> Unbelievable. I'm standing here waiting for you. Yeah. With my coil down. That is dumb luck. Wow. 1919D. 19, 19 Beautiful. Merc. 
Well, Charlie, I think we should hit some more here. That's crazy. For the record, we've been out for hours looking for places, right? <laughs> yep. So when we stop, that's where that one was. Mm. That's on. Ooh. Whoa. Or a rosette. Oh, be a nice. Be a GW. Look at that. That is just silly. Yeah. Just gonna hang around and wait for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Did you lose something in that hole? Ah, it's a big ass chunk of iron. Yeah. Look at that. Wow. This is great. Yeah. Go random, right? Yeah. Nice, another bridal uh, rosette. Wow. Look at that thing's a beauty. It's got the lead back missing. Holy crap. Um, this would have had a lead filled back. This is silly. Wowzers. So here you are, you're looking for places, but and where we were was out in this big square, and we were at the tail end of it. So we we're pretty far out against the wall. And, uh, the back 40. The back 40. There's two... Uh... Sam Scratch. Sam Scratch. Uh, we will have to continue the search for these holes. Jamon. So next week we'll pick up right where we're leaving off, finding the home site across the river. So stay young, always keep them guessing. Adios and live free or die. We got a package from our friend Richard in Canada. Thanks, buddy. In the Great White North, eh? And Keebler doesn't know what's in it yet. I figured it would be a surprise for him as well. I didn't even tell him it was coming. So oh. we're going to open up this live on camera. Let's do it. I hope it's a pony. <laughs> Could be an inflatable woman. Nice. As soon as I, you know, break the seal or something. Kit, knife. Thank ah, you. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. So it made it through customs, so... Dogs didn't get it. Yeah. Cambot, get a still shot of this. Whoa, it takes up the whole page. I think he used big words. Hello, Charlie and Hori. H-E-N-R-I. Very French. How'd you know? Uh, I made these for you guys because I really like your, your video. I hope, I hope you both enjoy them. I have sent many out already as far as the United Kingdom, Ireland, and England. Are we the first ones in the United States to have these? Oh, we may be the last, too. <laughs> I usually charge $7. Is that Canadian or American? For each, but I found a hobby I enjoy, so I do trades for coins. Older the better. Oh, honey, this is my first dais. Oh, an XP. This is the first dais I made. Hope it looks close to your machine. Anywho, love the videos. You guys are awesome and fun to watch. Your Canadian brother, you got that straight. A. A. B. C. Richard Avario. Uh, like the cookie. <laughs> I, I said it right. <laughs> Oreo Voreo. Oreo Voreo. I can save them all. Here's the box. That's so cool. Oh, look at this thing. I'm on fire. Look at that. <gasps> that is so cool. Those are coins. Right here during all the videos from now on. <laughs> look at that. Richard, that was uh, extremely thoughtful, creative. Just a wonderful gesture. Unbelievable. Just look, it looks just like the XP. Look at that. Thanks, buddy. Richard has a YouTube channel too, so we're going to plug it. We're going to plug it. Yeah, everybody should have one of these, if not two. He's our buddy on uh, Facebook as well. So, awesome gesture, man. 
Great work. Appreciate it. Thanks again. Let's see now. Oh, I think I have visual. Take the plug out. Oh, look at that. Whoa. Look at that. Oh, it's shiny. It's shiny. Oh, silver. Damn. Whoa. Uh, 1956. Wow. Plain. This, guy, wow. this guy's clever, I'm telling you. It really works. <laughs> it really works. Thanks again, Richard. Wow. I can get this on an airplane and everything. Wow. Travel size. <laughs> Whoa. I got a signal. Dig it. Alright, let's do it. Okay, put the plug here. Good plug. Yep. Unbelievable. Oh, look at that. What else would it be? A button. A button. <laughs> wow. Richard, you are brilliant. <laughs> I don't know how you get all that technology in there, but that's that's just insane. Works just as well as my full size. Yeah.